Yes. Don't you call me up that one time. Thought that I heard gunfire. I stepped outside. Left a message saying hi. I answered from a firefight. Told you it's a bad time, but I can talk. Chicago emo punk legends Alkaline Trio have returned for their 10th studio album, Blood, Hair, and Eyeballs. I have been listening to Alkaline Trio since their 2001 release from here to Infirmary and saw them live that year at Warp Tour. They technically are, I guess, the first band I ever saw live because uh, I mainly was there to see Thursday, but I guess Alkaline Trio was playing before Thursday and I was running my way to the, the stage where Thursday was playing and happened to catch all of their sets. So they were technically the first band I ever saw live. Their album, Good Morning, released in 2003, remains one of my favorite albums ever, one which I played the crap out of in high school. However, every release since Good Morning has never felt like it lived up to their potential. I still come back to Alkaline Trio every time they release a new album, and yeah, I, I do enjoy them still to this day. They do have a few songs every album release that I love. And it leaves me with this sense that there is always the potential that the band is going to create something great. For example, I Wanna Be a Warhol off their 2013 album, My Shame is True, is just an incredible, incredible song, even though I felt the album didn't fully deliver. Leading up to the release of Blood, Hair, and Eyeballs, I was somewhat cautious. I thought the title track, single, was good, but I was apprehensive that the album, again, was not going to deliver, especially since the last Matt Skiba album, which was nine when he was a member of the band Blink-182, sucked. <laughs> To be fair, I also found the new Blink album uh, with the return of Tom uh, terrible as well. And I was worried that the next Alkaline Trio album would also be overproduced pop punk garbage. But with all that backstory out of the way, this album's amazing. The production on this album sounds incredible. It feels raw and energized. There are moments here as well that I feel that Alkaline Trio is playing homage to some of their emo contemporaries, with some riffs reminding me of Sunny Day Real Estate or even Braid, but also the pop punk hooks on this album are top tier. The album is also more lyrically cohesive and consistent with it being about apocalypse culture and how social media is instilling fear in people. And it is conveyed so well, especially in terms of connecting a lot of Alkaline Trio's subtle goth aesthetics with contemporary doom. The title of the album also comes from a saying by Matt Skiba's mother, who was a nurse, where when nights were really busy, she would describe them as blood, hair, and eyeballs. And this description really does connect with the overall theme of fear and doom. The album begins with the very riff-heavy punk rock banger, Hot for Preacher. The song also paints this picture of everything falling apart, but with Matt Skiba commenting almost sarcastically, what else is new? Boo hoo. It is a very incredible and intense way to start this album. This leads into the track, Meet Me, which has this riff that sounds very reminiscent of early emo bands like Sunny Day Real Estate. The song is also about being with someone you love while the world is falling apart. The bridge also does really well with heightening the tension with these hollers that sound like they're from a horror film. The hook on this song is super infectious as well with Matt Skiba singing, ay ay ay. It is doom and gloomy, but you can't help but happily sing along to it. We then get the first Dan Andriano fronted track on the album, Versions of You. This song was initially my least favorite, but has grown on me over time. I think the part that throws me out of the song for just a little bit is that the chorus vaguely sounds 
familiar, like an old punk rock song that you would have heard off of Tony Hawk Pro Skater. But it doesn't fully mesh with the rest of the song, in my opinion. I think after I've listened to it a bunch, I like it better than when I first heard it, but it still remains probably my least favorite song off the album. However, the verses still rock hard, with these chunky and disorienting guitar riffs. I also love the bridge where Matt Skiba comes in, and the two of them, Dan and Matt, alternate in the vocals. It really makes this album feel like a collaborative process. The lyrics are also poetically written by Dan about this dissolution of a friendship, and it still kind of fits with the overarching theme of the album. We then get the amazing Bad Time. This song is just an infectious pop punk banger. The song does this incredible move, which is replicated elsewhere on the album, where they go from these soaring like riffs in the chorus to this palm muting, and it works so fucking well. When I first heard the song, I thought it was a silly love song, since the main stick out lyric is Skiba singing in the chorus that he really wants to talk to you. But then when you sit and listen to this song, it is so much more intense. This is about Skiba, who was near a live shooting event, gets a call from a friend who asks, is it a bad time? And his response is, no, I really want to talk to you. Like, fuck me. <laughs> And this is apparently something they actually went through while on tour in El Paso. But there are also humorous moments here with Skiba being on shrooms and thinking he's being stalked by bulletproof robots. But even this levity doesn't take away from the too real situation of being near and around a mass shooting event in the United States. The album does not let up with the next song, Scars. This song begins with more of a folk punk sort of rockabilly flavored sound as Dan poetically describes this apocalyptic picture and how he's trying to change the algorithm from forcing him to see it. Skiba again comes in the chorus which sounds epic with this distorted lead guitar with both of them singing about how we can't escape this and we all have scars. It is both a terrifying and yet empowering track. This then transitions into the most classic Alkaline Trio sounding song on the album, Break. We get references here to Frankenstein and werewolves, which is in Alkaline Trio's goth aesthetic wheelhouse, but what could be camp is actually played here to great effect. The song is sort of about how the world has gone insane, with people committing acts of terror while others are dancing in the blood, and the dark verses erupt into these super stadium chanting choruses. This is followed by another banger, Shake With Me. I especially love the tone shift halfway through this song, where it gets really dark for a few moments. But again, Matt and Dan sharing moments on this track works really well, and lyrically we get themes of loss. We then get the catchy pop punk emo masterpiece and title track of the album, Blood, Hair, and Eyeballs. Again, lyrically, the song sort of connects to the previous track, where Matt's partner leaves him, and now he's walking like a zombie, waiting for them to return. Again, the zombie references here could be played off as camp, but it instead comes off very well. After a brief hinterlude, we get the track Broken Down Time Machine. Dan on this track sings about being trapped in a broken down time machine where he's constantly reliving this trauma. This could just be a reference to his brain being the time machine in some sense as he's reflecting on the past. Or fitting the theme of the album, it could be that our smartphones are preventing us from escaping these past traumas which we keep reliving. But again, even though these songs contain these deep lyrical themes, the course on this song is just a straight up catchy punk banger. The album then ends with the song Teenage Heart. I was worried at first with the title of the song because punk rock, especially pop punk, often gets into this Neverland zone where it is as if they haven't grown up. 
Uh, I, I remember a lot of like, you know, Simple Plan songs that sort of like fit that theme. I'm just a kid and life is a nightmare. Like Matt Skiba is 47, but he's singing about a teenage heart now. However, this song is an emotional gut punch. The song is about those early feelings that you are so eager to grow up and it feels like it's never going to happen. But it also captures the stress and feeling of social isolation that you can experience as a young teenager in high school. And this all builds to the devastating course where Matt sings, All I want for Christmas is an AR-15, my stocking stuffed with fentanyl, drop like a fly at the ripe age of 16, wishing I had a friend to call. I mean, the social isolation, the fear of being stuck in high school, these are timeless emotions, but combined with the fear of mass shootings, it really highlights how fucked up this all is. Even the line, I'm waiting to break like a teenage heart in America, it doesn't read like it's about romance, but the death of innocence, how we as a society are fucking up our kids through inaction when it comes to guns and drugs and everything else. I didn't expect this kind of powerful political message from an Alkaline Trio song, let alone one that gives me goosebumps, let alone in 2024, but here we are. This album is amazing. It is catchy, it's raw and emotional, it is heavy, it's poppy in all the right moments, and lyrically, it perfectly fits this current moment we are experiencing. This is easily a 9 out of 10 for me. What an incredible album. What did you think of this album? Did you love it? Did you hate it? Let me know in the comments down below. And uh, stay safe out there.